I'm going to pull me. What do <coughs> but the Baal, it's a, it's a minute that's nespashes but go with the fault because it's Yisrael. That they invite the Yishpiz and what's in this Yishpiz? Parenthetically, not so parenthetically, I'll tell you a nice from Kotzka Rebbe. Sukkis and the... Uh, Rebbe had an oreach and the sukkah was an ankle of a very, the grandson of a very big Rebbe. They were sitting in the sukkah, but the grandson of this Rebbe said, My grandfather was so such a big Rebbe that he saw with his own eyes when Avram Avino came into the sukkah, when Yitzhak came into the sukkah. So the Kotzka Rebbe said to him, I don't see when Avraham Avinu and Yitzhak Avinu come into the sukkah. But I have a munah that they come. And with my munah, I see them more clearly than your grandfather saw with his eyes. By my... You tell me, Pshat. I give you hope. Ashtar is... But anyway, we're sitting in the sukkah and we have the machzayrim and it hangs on the wall, the shpiz and the shpiz and the shpiz and the loy and you know the words. Something, the fear of Canaan, what is it? The fear of Canaan, to understand a little bit, what is it? Lucas is Manson Hosei. They said for us the two cities. It's Manson Hosei. Right, so you have people who are talking about that the Ika Simcha is Shlemus. There's no shleimus, there's no simple. It's very, very important today to talk about and to make the bringing to our moya. When we talk about some Kosainu, which is only the Shlemus of the Kapara, of the Lashon, of Sassumay Chukla, and Yom Kippur, that's Goyrim, the 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 the, 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 the Kasimcha of Sukkot. It's very, very important to know that the Nishmas is small, and the is small. Yaisen, Moshe, Aaron, David. 
This is our shleimus. We have no other shleimus. Without the shpiz nuloi, without this, the seis man sim chosein. Without this, it's not simple. Why call his whole life a besuka achas? The Kedusha Sazman is a Kedusha Kloli and a Kedusha Prati. In the Kedusha Kloli, you have to say, you have to say, the Shpiz Nelay. And I don't know, but he ain't based on this, that, 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 Billen a verstanden that the Schleimers is my Reich Zurich. I'm not going to be any on. In the Behome, in the in the Pummel, in the in the Cheshkes and Golas, we forget that we're any clock from Abraham, Yitzchak and Yankin. And in the Nizman of Simcha, you have to be masked in the totality, the dimension of the Schleimers. You have to be masked in the Spiesen of all. The Mabal Balaam Amoiches. The Gemara talks, the Gemara speaks about. <coughs> the Gemara speaks about. Rachmanin, Baishonin, Gamle Chasodin. A Simonin from Yid. A kosher fish. Vincent's house. Ayid has Simonin. And the simon of the Yiddish is a Achman, a Baishan, a Goy Mochazet, which is by Yerusha from Avraham Avinu. You look in the Ramban, he describes the simplest place of Sha'id. He says that the seed of Menachem Mais and the Tzaddik and they used to dance. And, and, and the rest of the people, and the rest of the Eden, they used to. They used to stand on the side and sing and stand their face by the hands. And the Chesidim and the Chimais and the Tzadikim, the Kreuz and Yidin, they used to dance in the middle. You know, so an American read, he learns that shit from Rambam. Perhaps he feels funny. Yeah. It's not Democrat. The Pshat and the Rambam is Porsche. That's simple, but a simple space of shave. What's the stomach simple? And that simple, Yoyna became a novice. We show him how you show him the Ruach HaKoyish. Yoyna Hanavi first got his connection to Nebuah from being there in the simple space of shave. As else. Shot this that in the Shlemis of Klaus Yisrael, 
of Knesset Yisrael and the Shleimus of Knesset Yisrael, it was pushed. <coughs> that it goes from a Shirish. It goes from Chassidim and Anshimaisim that are called to the Boshlal and the Toilet and Avoidim, in Godless and Toilet and Avoidim, and it's this, it's this passion. To the whole book of Knesset Yisrael. We have nothing to do here in the Sukkah under the Shpiz. Man asks, you know what I mean? It becomes, you know, something, you know. How do they say? Because of the trees, you don't see the forest. Machmas Reza eats them in the rain, it's like in the near Aya. Eilam is busy with buying decorations for the sukkah. Eilam is busy buying fancy sukkahs. Lots of events. God, excuse me. I have nothing to do with it. That's the Shlaim of Sebastian. I have some, something else quetched me. Maybe it has a shaykh as before, we'll see. Ugh. I want to tell you a nice thing. Tell you a story, I want to tell you a story. I told it over at a number of people, so a number of people heard me read. And I heard the story too. And I told it over <coughs> maybe. Since I heard it a few weeks ago, I told all the story. I would be saying to say a dozen times. <clears throat> a dozen times I told all the story. See, so think, you know, I'm not tired of saying all the story. I'm not tired. I want that, that the whole fiber of my neshama should be the story. And I hold <coughs> there's a limit common in the story. And I hold that there are big gaps in our lives that perhaps this can fill <coughs> the gaps, some of the emptiness. In Poland, there was a sheep in a town called Lomsha. London, man, Zion, Alpha, Lomsha. And just before the darkness, the evil of the world fell on us. Shashiva came to America to raise money. His name was Rabbi Yechiel Michael Gordon. Zechen Sabbath of God. My Rosh Hashiva and Shmosa begins in the morning. Told me more than once that he was a Bucky Bishas man. Told me he was a Bucky Bishas man. He was a person by a line of law called that was marinated in socks. I'm not going to talk on, on the light months of the same with socks that he had in his life. By a line of law called So he came here to America, he was caught here, he couldn't go back because of the war. And he lived many years here in America. And then in his last years he went to Pesach Tikva in Artisrael, where there is still today a branch of the long tradition. It's an interesting thing, I don't know why, it could be a rare. That branch of the long tradition was opened before the war, it was opened in the 20s, I think in 23 days. Any 
anyway, one third story. So I'm going to tell you two stories. And you should hazard the stories and remember the stories. And when your children are older and they'll be able to come to some sort of maturity, and you want to learn with them the dimensions of what a, what a amukhacham is and what a need has to be, you'll learn with them these stories. I'll tell you two stories, two little incidents. He went out to Israel and he lived there, so he saw what somebody saw him walk from his house to the yeshiva. He was walking in the street in Pesach Tikve, in a side street, in a residential section. And he saw, you should excuse me, I apologize a thousand times. He saw on the sidewalk door droppings. Why do people walk? They saw him stop take out his handkerchief and bend down and pick it up. Ayida Boki Bishas. Ayida Big Rosh Hashida. That was embodied in himself the aristocracy of Claudius. Imagine the Prince of Wales, Lahabu, to be such a thing. How would I believe this? How would I believe this? God will cover that Meister number one. Meister number two. He used to come into the yeshiva every morning. And they noticed after a while that there's a certain ritual that he goes through every morning. What's the ritual? You know, in the yeshiva, it's an indica indication of our financial prowess and abilities that we don't have tablets on the world. But in any cheer that's worth its all, all the walls are covered with tablets and bonus. The frame is very sophisticated, they don't like tablets on the <laughs> Anyway, they noticed every morning that he goes over to a certain corner of the sheet and there's a tablet with the name of a donor. And he stops and he looks at it and he goes away. Day after that, look, they knew that they, they knew that there's something gauged for the guy. They knew that something is doing it. By Rahim the Lumay Danit Sarah, like the Gemara says, that somebody asked him, What is this all about? He said the following. He said that the man that his name is written on this tablet was not a rich man in America. This man was a big fight of Tyree love her. And the man gave him a substantial amount of money for the And he never wants to forget the toy he wants to be married <coughs> that this Jew did. So every day he goes to look at the tower and remember the toy that this Jew did to be married. as I eat. I'm not a storyteller. I'm not a raconteur. <clears throat> By me, these stories are shimush to me. Gidoilu shimush a yoysem elimuda. You know what Kavad Abrius is. You step up here. We step on people like this as if they're rugs. We know what our correspondent is. We can tell.
Hey, 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 hey. I'm going to go like this. Finish. I throw the belt over, right? And everything. <coughs> I'm going to tell you the third story. Let me think one second because I don't know if it's, it's young. Let me think. I'll tell the tug the ball of kin. Hold back. I'll back to the lead. Keep away from me. It's yours. He lost his wife and four children in the gas ovens. Imagine Okay, let's leave it. One son escaped to us. And that son was killed in 48. At Arab's So by the Gedolei Eretz Yisrael, by the Gedolei Tomei Nechachamim, there was a shayla whether they should tell him that his only surviving child was killed. They were machria that they shouldn't tell him that it's too dangerous to tell him. Kacha, that's what they, 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 they were machria that they shouldn't tell him. The Lomji Yeshiva, you wouldn't remember, there used to be offices for Yeshiva on the east side. Little dumpy offices, used to rent there more. So on the lower east side, he had the office from the Lomji Yeshiva. And this prince, in the back, he slept on a little cot. And that's where people brought money, they brought their money to the office. So an older Jew of his, Mr. Malansma from Lomji, came up, to give him a few bucks. And the Jew, knew that his son, the tragedy with his last son. And he assumed that he also, but he didn't know. So the Jew began to consult him, to be menachem him. Nice, good, right. Nothing, you know, smile, nothing, nothing on his face, so nothing. The Jew left, he fell into a coma. The Brodactus, you know, from, imagine from containing himself, he was quite, quite ill. The big brother was supposed to set him. What was the whole time? Oh, he's sitting there with him another 15 minutes and talking to him. He said to him, I should make a Jew feel that he made such a mistake that I wouldn't know. Can you imagine the Tsar, the pain that that Jew would have if he would find out that he's the one who told me this? Here, please. That's another dimension of us. It's a problem. And you know, She the this is young boy, call you <coughs> told me, and I saw it because he lived not far from me when he was in America, that the man always had a pleasantness and a smile on his face. He greeted everybody with a smile. Also part of cover that is. I've been saying to Robin, there are not too many princes like that walking around today. This is Shemesh Tamir HaKhali. This is the Shemes of the boys. That's, that's those of the Dolan that danced in the middle of it. That's in this case of Shaheed. Not but with all the noise that, that's around us. I don't know what kind of the breeze is. 
They don't know. to look for crumbs. Crumbs of light, little little sparks of light. We should know how it should be may have been was saying, you know, what's I eat this, what's the problem? about the Goyen. Today is the Goyen's yard side. The Goyen's yard side. So I can't talk about the Goyen. I don't have any on my mind. Like, uh, even on most of the mice that I know. But I'll talk about the Goyen's at Talmud in the line of what, what we were just now learning. The Goyen had a Talmud of Zalman. Zalman Valajan, or Abchaim Valajan, was brought. Zalman. The lady was next to a very young man. Hey, right. <coughs> Living in Soira about his Bikis. It was something that was Mahal al the kids were staggering. In Lithuania, in the core of Lithuania, there was a problem with pronunciation. On a sheen, if you say sh, they said si. They couldn't say sh. On a samach, they said sh. They said fish, they couldn't say fish, they used to say fish. They didn't say tish above, they say tish I don't know where it comes from, that's what it is. There was in Vilna at that time a Jew in Ludnik. Sometimes they are Ludnikis. But he was a Talmud Chacham. And he wrote a parish on Mesechtet Mat. <clears throat> Who doesn't know what the Mai is? Raise your hand. You're ashamed to raise your hand? Time, the raise was the Mai is? Okay, left back. The Mai is the Tvu is the of Anam Ha'aretz that were Choshes. The Mai is Do Mai, what is it? We don't know if he took off Trumas and Mai's. It's Vice the Claw. I'm not the Frank Nuchamu was the Mai is the Snishbish and Hapsit Svei Patch. So this Nudnik wrote a parish on the Sechted Mai. And it seems he wanted a haskama on his parish from Reb Zalman Balazhin. Reb Zalman Balazhin was a very young man yet. And it seems he wasn't in the frame of mind of giving yet a haskama on a seifa and chlal. So he said, he was bothering you, he was nudging the life out of him. He said, there's sometimes there's some nudnikis. Baruch Hashem, we don't have any nudnikis. This <laughs> 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 Nudnik was bothering him. So finally, you know, he shows him, look at my, yeah, I cook up my Paris. Instead of saying Paris, she couldn't say she and Litter, she said Paris. What does Paris mean in Hebrew? Kind was my Paris. What? Getting better. Paris really means fruit. So he was nudging Absalom so much, he says, Cook up my Paris. Look at my Paris, how good it is. So he said, Paris Secha, Paris the man. Your fruit is the fruit of an Amorites. <laughs> come in, please come in. Say it's good, Rabbi, good man. He said, Paris Secha, Paris the man. You know, it was a pun. He called it a Paris. Because they couldn't say Perish. And he was nudging so much at Perisaka Perish the Mark. The youth is Nifka. He became very insulted and he ran away. Reb Zalman felt that he heard a youth. Sometimes, you know, when you have a sharp word to say, 
Can't control him. Someone's hurting you. He start to run around in the city to find the eat. To, to ask him if he, he couldn't find the Jew. He was a temporary Iraqi woman. Couldn't find him. It hurt from Zalman so much. It hurt from Zalman so much that he couldn't find the Jew to ask him to kill him. And he became sick. He was not on the Mishka. They didn't know what to do. I don't know the exact end of the story, but I know that they went to the court, to the Bill of Goyen. Zalman was a comrade of this. They went to the Vilma Goyen, and the Goyen came to him. It seems that the Goyen, I don't remember exactly the end, maybe somebody knows the end, that the Goyen told him some words that quieted him down. This was a comment of the Goyen. Goyen himself is I'm trying to remember, probably it's Shia, the Shaman Doilum, you will hear about the Goyen. Today's the Goyen's yard, so. Goyen was a Malach of a Kim. The Malach of a Kim. If you want to know someday, you want to know a little bit about the Goyen. The best thing is, is Introduction to the Sapper. It's nice of the Goyen. Chaim Velazhin wrote the introduction where he talks about the Goyen and he was. But this is the Shlemus of Thoughts. This is Zman Simchasen. One thing I will tell you about the Goyen. Rab Chaim Valozhin, Rab Zalman's brother, came to the Goyen. He was a young man and he was crying to the Goyen that he hazard Seder Nashim 14 times. Marash and Taisvis, please, hazard 14 times. And he doesn't remember it. It says in the Kesarosh. In the Kesarosh. What? In the Kesarosh. Kesarosh. It says there that the guy laughed on the face and smiled at him. The rebel, what do you mean? How many times you have to chazer? So the guy said to him, call your mecha by my chazer. There's no amount of time. You have to keep on chazer and chazer. Only for an amount of time. This is the guy said there. What are you going to say? Stop the door.